Hi and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Wings over Europe running at 60 frames per second on Windows 10. I have an older video that many people have found helpful, but I find this method to be more stable and it can be difficult to get the old NB series file for the old video. So this is a fresh install of Wings over Europe. If I launch it now, I'll have a really low frame rate. If you're here to watch this video, then you've probably encountered the problem. Let's just set the resolution. This setting sets the in-game renderer, so the menu resolution won't change. This is expected. I'm just going to turn the music down a bit. As you can see, this is a really low frame rate and unplayable, really. If on exiting your screen gets frozen like this, just hold ALT and F4 keys to close the game. We're done with the game for now. Go to the game menu, then to manage, then browse local files. This opens the game installation folder. This is just to make it easier and quicker to find the game installation directory for later. You're going to need two files. The Wings over Europe. Cold War Gone Hot. October 2008. Update and need Dijvoodoo 2. Dijvoodoo 2 files links will be provided below. Head to patchesscrolls.com and download the October 2008 update. I already have the update so can cancel the download. You'll now have a WinRAR file containing the update. Extract the update executable and run it. When asked for the install directory, either copy and paste the path from the game install directory we opened earlier, or direct the installer to your game directory. Now update the game, it can take a minute. The update alone doesn't fix the low frame rate problem. It does reset the graphics option though. Let's just have a quick look and set those graphics options. As you can see, the frame rate is still really low and the game is unplayable. And now when you press the escape key to exit the game, crashes to desktop. Now head to github.com and download DGVoodoo 2. I already have it downloaded, so can cancel the download. Now open the Voodoo 2 archive and extract the DG Voodoo control panel, executable file to the game installation folder, and extract the D3D9DLL file from the MS, X86E directory of the archive to the game folder. Now run the DG Voodoo control panel and make sure your settings look like this. That should be it. Now let's have a look at the game and more importantly, the frame rate.
As you can see, we're now getting a smooth 60 frames per second, and the game is now playable. You should now be able to enjoy Wings Over Europe on Windows 10. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe.